Lesson 2.4, Parts and Total Number Stories. In this problem, I'm going to show you a page of your student reference book, or SRB, that tells about animal clutches. And you can see it's in the pages called the data bank. So if you have an SRB or if you want to look at school and you look at the bottom, it's page 218 in your student reference book. And it's called Animal Clutches. All of the animals shown lay eggs. A nest of eggs is called a clutch. Most birds, reptiles, and amphibians lay eggs once or twice a year. Insects may lay eggs daily during a certain season of the year. There are three animals on this page. The green turtle, the ostrich, and the giant toad. So for the first problem, we will be looking at the ostrich. So notice the ostrich is a large bird. It's more than two meters tall and it can lay up to 15 eggs. So an ostrich clutch can have up to 15 eggs. So here it says, an ostrich lays 12 eggs. Another ostrich has 11 eggs in her clutch. How many total eggs are in the two clutches? So a clutch is a nest of eggs. The first one has 12 eggs and the second one has 11 eggs. So your unit box, of course, would be eggs. These numbers stand for eggs. The question is, how many total eggs? How many total eggs are in the two clutches? So if you look at our diagram here, this is called a part-part total diagram. We have two parts and a total. So first we need to figure out what we are looking for. In this question, we are going to be looking for the total because it asks how many total eggs are there. So we can put a question mark under total because that's the number we're looking for. So the first part would be 12 because the first clutch has 12 eggs. The second part stands for the second clutch, which is 11 eggs. So we have two clutches or two parts, 12 and 11, and we are looking for the total. So to find the total, we know we need to add 12 plus 11 equals, and we don't know the answer yet, so that's our number model, 12 plus 11. In order to add this, you could add the tens first, because I know that 12 has a 10 in it, and 11 has a 10, so I know that 10 plus 10 is 20, and 12 had two left over, and 11 has one left over, so that equals 3. And 20 plus 3 is 23, which means the total number of eggs is 23 eggs. Now it asks, how do you know your answer makes sense? Well, how does 23 make sense? If we're looking for the total, the total must be bigger than the two parts. If your total is smaller than the two parts, you must have done something wrong. So we know 23 makes sense because it is bigger than 12 and 11. The next one, if you see, is looking at the green turtle. So let's go back and read about the green turtle. The green turtle can be up to one and a half meters long, has a median of 104 eggs, as many as 184 eggs. So 104 would be the number in the middle if we looked at a whole bunch of turtles and the number of eggs in their clutches. 104 would be in the middle because that's the median. And as many as 184 means that 184 is the maximum. That's the most number of eggs in a green turtle clutch. So a green turtle has 76 eggs in her clutch. That's important. Another green turtle has 81 eggs in her clutch. And we are looking for this. How many eggs all together? Well, all together is another way to say what is the total. How many all together? That's the total. We are looking for the total number of eggs. So I'll put a question mark in there. And the first part would be the number of eggs in the first clutch. 76 eggs. The second part is the number of eggs in the second clutch, which is 81 eggs. So our unit up here is eggs. That's what those numbers stand for. 
So our two parts are 76 and 81. We are looking for the total. How many all together means the total. So our number model should be 76 part 1 plus part 2 should give us our total. 76 plus 81 will give us the total number of eggs. And on this one I could add 70. This is called the partial sums method, which means we break these numbers into parts. So 70 plus 80. Well, the easy fact here is 7 plus 8. And I know that 7 plus 8 is 15. And it's 7 tens plus 8 tens equals 15 tens, or 150. And the parts that are left are 6 plus 1 equals 7. So 150 and 7 is 157. So our total number of eggs is 157. How do we know our answer makes sense? The total must be bigger than the parts. Since the first part is 76 and the second part is 81, our answer makes sense because 157 is bigger than both parts. Okay, let's take a look at the giant toad. So the giant toad can be up to 30 centimeters long, and it has a maximum of 35,000 eggs. So this number is quite a bit bigger than the other ones, 35,000. So the, it says, a giant toad had 20,000 eggs in her clutch. Only 16,000 hatched. How many did not hatch? So the giant toad had 20,000 eggs in her clutch. 16,000 hatched. How many did not hatch? On this one, we know the total. The total number of eggs in her clutch is 20,000 eggs. That's the total number of eggs. 16,000 hatched, well that's part of the eggs. Only part of the eggs hatched. Part of the eggs didn't hatch. We need to know how many did not hatch. So we are missing one of the parts on this one. So our number model here, we won't add 20,000 plus 16,000 because we're not looking for the total, which means we have to subtract to find the missing part. Again, our unit, eggs. So we need to take the total, which is 20,000, and find the difference between 20,000 and 16,000. If we find the difference between those two numbers, that will tell us how many eggs did not hatch. So 20,000 minus 16,000. Well, I could use the counting up method. I could start at 16,000 and count by thousands, which would be 17,000, 18,000, 19,000, 20,000. So counting by thousands, that's one, two, three, four. It took four thousands to count up from 16,000 to 20,000. So the number that did not hatch is 4,000 eggs. And how do we know our answer makes sense? Well, if there's 20,000 eggs total and 16,000 hatched, the number that did not hatch should be less than 20,000. It has to be less than the total for it to make sense. So, how do we know our answer makes sense? The missing part must be smaller than the total because we were subtracting to find the answer. If we would have added 20,000 and 16,000, we would have got 36,000. And it wouldn't make sense that 36,000 didn't hatch if there was only 20,000 total. So our missing part has to be smaller than the total. Just remember, when you are looking for the total, you add. When you are missing a part, you find the difference, which means you subtract. So when you need the total, you add the two smaller parts together.